midst of a crisis is not the best time for that first hello. That's a lesson long learned in the emergency management field of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. When responding to a natural disaster, having a relationship already established with state and tribal representatives helps the Corps to better assist affected communities. The Omaha District of the Corps set up a series of meetings this winter throughout the Missouri River Basin with state and tribal emergency management personnel. Mindful that any federal disaster response incorporates several agencies, the Omaha District invited both FEMA and the Bureau of Indian Affairs to participate in the forums. One value of bringing everybody together is the fact that you start building a relationship so that you know each other and recognize each other's faces before you have a serious emergency. And the second value is to understand the boundary lines between the different districts that affect Colorado, since Colorado is served by more than one district of the Army Corps of Engineers. In several states, there are multiple core districts that share both boundaries and responsibilities for emergency management response. Colorado, for instance, is split between Omaha, Kansas City, Albuquerque, and Sacramento districts based upon respective watershed. So the Omaha district invited representatives from each to attend its organizational meeting with the state. If everybody can walk away from the table today and just knowing that uh, there's a lot of interest out there between all the agencies that are involved, all the community peoples, all the local sponsors, everybody wants to do the right thing. They want to help and be engaged and, and be ready for that next event. Laying the groundwork became a common theme as the meetings progressed throughout the basin. At each stop, a recap of the previous year was held, as well as lessons learned were covered and a look forward to what potential problems might arise in any given state. When you have an incident that uh, uh, affects you and it affects your communities um, from a, a disaster, uh, a natural disaster, uh, such as floods that we went through this last year, it's the work that you do uh, ahead of that incident that is uh, so important. Cameron's sentiment was echoed further north by Ed Tinsley, the administrator of Montana Department of Emergency Services. Well, all you have to do is look at last year's events. I mean, uh, 2011 was an incredible year for, for uh, flooding in Montana, and um, the fact that we met last year prior to the flooding helped us out tremendously. Uh, there's an old saying in the DES world, uh, waiting for the ball to start is not the best time to learn how to dance. Similarly, meetings with both the Crow Agency, Northern Cheyenne, Blackfeet Nation, and Fort Peck tribes in Montana allowed for common ground to be established and an understanding of the authorities the Corps can use to assist tribes in times of emergency. Well, federal um, agencies have a responsibility to work in a government-to-government -government relationship with tribal nations. And at FEMA, we, we honor that, we respect that, as does the Corps of Engineers and, and other federal agencies. And we want to work in a partnership way with federal agencies to make sure that we're providing the full support that we can to, to tribal nations. At each of those locations, the Corps and federal agency representatives took time to discuss areas that were the highest concerns to the tribes. Looking to the future, the relationship between the federal agencies, the states, and tribes continues to mature. Uh, these relationships have paid off in the last few years, in the last few summers, as we've responded to a tremendous amount of flooding. Uh, and uh, as we move forward, this year, perhaps, the forecast uh, uh, lends itself to a potentially a less uh, active year in flooding, but let's take this opportunity as federal partners uh, and partnering with our, our state uh, entities to look at ways that we can spend our energy and time and partnerships around good mitigation planning. For more information on emergency management and how the Omaha District is preparing to respond in times of need, follow us on Facebook and Twitter.